Upchurch. Down at the 29-yard line. Well, the Raiders did not allow Upchurch to use his speed. The Broncos go on offense. Here is their offensive huddle at Frank Morton at quarterback. Well, he's the big question mark. He did not practice one day with the Denver Broncos this week because of a leg injury or hip injury. He was in the hospital for over two days, and he's had the, the, the knee or the hip drain twice a week. Rob Lytle, the starting halfback, Lonnie Perrin, fullback, poses one end, Dalvin the other, and Riley Owens, the tight end. They come out with two flankers to the left side. Moses, the wide man, give it to John Keyworth, who starts in place of Lonnie Perrin, and Keyworth gets a couple off the right side. Floyd Rice with a tackle. The offensive line for the Denver Broncos. Andy Bauer, number 74, left tackle. This is a good offensive line for the Denver Broncos. They've done a good job. They're a steady team. Tom Glassing, 62, the left tackle. The center is 52, Mike Modler. Right guard, Paul Howard, number 60, and the right tackle. is number 71, Lottie Miner. Brad Miller sending him plays by halfback messengers as Lonnie Perrin in. John Keyworth goes out. Second down, a long seven from the 31. That's Mazes, Moses in motion. And Rob Lytle, the rookie from Michigan, slams off right tackle for five, short of the first down by two. Good block, Claudia Miner, number 71, the right tackle. Here's the defense for the Oakland Raiders. They use the 3-4. It's a bigger defensive line than Denver's 3-4. Matuzak on one end. In the middle, Dave Rowe. And on the outside right, Otis Sistrunk. The linebackers, four of them. And they're all tough. Rice, Johnson, Hall. And on the outside, the mad stork, Ted Hendricks. Denver will try to run away from Hendricks. He's a brilliant performer. Third down and down. two. Two plays they've gone to Oakland's left side. That's the way they're going to attack today. Morton to throw for the first time. Good protection going long. Incomplete at the 25 yard. Here's the Oakland offense. All right, number 12, Kenny Stabler. Kenny has a bad knee also. He's like Morton, and there's parts of this field that are slippery. It's going to be interesting to watch how he can set up. He'll be the quarterback. Clarence Davis, one running back. The fullback is going to be the AFC's leading rusher, number 30, Mark Van Egan. Receivers in there all great. Branch, 21. Blitnikoff, 25. Casper, 87. And the Raiders, front five, perhaps the best in all of pro football. It's Clarence Davis. He made the tackle at the line of scrimmage. It's third down, 14, as Davis goes out. And the Raiders, behind these blockers, shell upshaw. They block out the sun, said the Vikings. Dolby at center. Beeler and Lawrence on the right side. Those first three men are all in the Pro Bowl. Three wide receivers as Morris Bradshaw joins Boletnikoff and Branch. Stabler, good protection, throws it away. He had a booming day here in Denver in game two, won by the Oakland Raiders here in Denver. Rick Upchurch stands at the 13-yard line. Guy tops in the NFL, 43.3-yard average. Kicked one 74 yards here earlier. Almost blocked, and a flag is down. Penalty for roughing the kicker, and the Raiders are going to get a first down on the five-yard call. They almost blocked it, but they ran into Guy. But Bernard Jackson coming up quickly from the secondary. Lyle Alzado, that's a story, number 77. He's not only tough, he likes to talk the game. You can see he's talking right now, too, Dick. Carter and Alzado, the front three for the Broncos. Maybe the best linebacking core in football. And Swenson, a sprinter. Rizzo, Gratishar, and Tom Jackson, who has played brilliantly. The big play man is Jackson. Second down, seven at the 47 of the Raiders. He's looking for Branch. Goes to, Bullock, to Van Egan. Come to score, 10 minutes remaining, first quarter. Boletnikov with one of his patented comeback moves and catches. Boletnikov, who is now four all-time in pass receptions, 569 catches in his great career, behind only Charlie Taylor, Don Maynard, and Raymond Berry. First down from the 41. Van Egan gets a couple. That figures he played on the team that scored the most points. 99 points for the veteran man out of North Dakota who kicked for the Detroit Lions, Green Bay, Cleveland, and Denver at one time. It'll be no more than an extra point try from the left hash mark at the 10, a 20-yard field goal attempt.
It's good. Intercepted only eight times. Old. Second pass by Morton. Good protection. Almost intercepted by Jack Tatum, number 32. It was intended for Haven Moses at the 45. Tatum down 15. Moses in motion. And Morton again. Has a man open. And that's out of bounds. Moses. No, he was not out of bounds. He goes all the way for a touchdown. Moses stays in bounds. Denver leads. And Bronco Mania reigns. Second down, six. Garrett in motion. Stabler. Look at that protection. Wide open. Boletnikov. First down at the 26-yard line. Boletnik. Because he's still going to get across there. Third and 13. Stabler. Boletnikov. Oh, my. A hard six yards. And it'll be a field goal try for Oakland. Rizzo by 30 yards. both because I believe he played in both the Rose and the Orange Bowl. That's right. It'll be Oklahoma and Arkansas, part of our NBC doubleheader tomorrow. It's interesting that the leading rusher for the Denver Broncos, Otis Armstrong, 489 yards of the Oakland Raiders. Rob Lytle. On the way to the 24-yard line before he's hit by it's left in the half and Morton will throw. Great protection. End zone Moses. Moses had his hands on it, had to turn back the other way, could not come up with the six points. And Morton hit Stabler on first down. Look at the time. Boletnikov again to the 30. That'll be short of the first down. Boletnikov hit hard by Joe Rizzo, and he appears to be hurt. Denver season. 30 minutes to go or more. Touchdown, the man who kicked in on the left. Morton on first down, looking long. Moses, 40, 30, and down at the 24 yard line. And 31 yards away. It's no good. Wide to the right. Turner, point three and one point four seconds. Uh -oh. And the Broncos had a football. Let Oakland in reception. First and goal at the two-yard line. Two extra defensive linemen in for the Oakland Raiders. Lytle. Oh, what a hit by Jack Tatum. Number 32 Tatum. Was there a fumble? The Raiders say they had the football. But I believe the whistle was blown dead. The Raiders think they have the football. Mike McCoy, number 76, running off the field with it. But they called it back, and Denver still has down for some reason out there in the middle of all that. Rob Lytle was crushed by a tackle from Jack Tatum. Lost the football but apparently after the whistle. In disbelief, John Madden across the way. Well, they're going up the middle. They've got four shots to get a, get a touchdown. And Lytle takes the ball and he is really nailed. Number 32 Tatum hits as hard as any he hits it back in the National Football League. But obviously the fumble occurred before Lytle hit the ground. And apparently in that mass of humanity, the officials did not see it or that McCoy took the ball away from a Denver player. Conduct, defense, first down. Unsportsmanlike conduct against the Raiders. So not only do they not get the football, they get what is a short penalty, half the distance to the goal line of about a yard. But there's a play that could be the key play in this game. Well, here take a look game. and see if we can see it. anything happen down here in the middle of all that massive humanity. You can see the great hit. By, there's the ball right there. You can back it up. We can see it. Oh, so it's first and goal at the one-yard line. 